If you've been paying attention to the world of marathon running over the previous few weeks, you know that some pretty crazy stuff has been going down. We saw Elliot Kipchoge once again break the marathon world record with a time of 2 hours, 1 minute, and 9 seconds. We saw Tijist Asefa assert herself as one of the fastest female marathon runners of all time. We saw Amos Kipruto run the fastest mile split in marathon history in 4 minutes and 21 seconds. We saw Yalimzer Vyahualu run a 443 mile over the closing stages, and we saw Kenanisa Bekele, the GOAT of the distance running scene, break the Masters world record with a time of 2 hours, 5 minutes, and 51 seconds. The finishing times that we have seen over the previous few weeks have been sensational, and yet again, we just saw another incredible marathon go down, this time the 2022 Chicago Marathon. On the men's side of this race, we saw a very solid performance from Benson Kipruto, who finished first with a time of 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 24 seconds. This is the third fastest time ever run in the Chicago Marathon, and it was also Kipruto's second major marathon over the previous 12 months. However, the real drama in this race came on the women's side, because what Ruth Chepengedich from Kenya just did was absolutely ridiculous. At the halfway point of this race, she split a time of 65 minutes and 44 seconds, which was already more than an entire minute ahead of world record pace. This is the equivalent to what Kipchoge did when he broke the one hour barrier over the halfway mark, and this pace now put her more than two minutes ahead of the current world record. Now, the current world record is 2 hours, 14 minutes, and 4 seconds, set by Bridget Koske in this very race back in 2019. And at this point in her performance, Chevin Gedich was set to finish in 2 hours, 11 minutes, and 28 seconds, which again would be well over 2 minutes ahead of Koske's world record. This 13.1 mile split would already be one of the fastest times ever run in half marathon history. So at this point in the race, everyone was on world record watch. Over the second half, Chevin Gedich did start to slow down a little bit, but the world record was still definitely on the table. And at the 35 kilometer point, she split a time of 50 minutes and 25 seconds, which was still ahead of Koske's split at this point, as she hit a time of 1 hour 51 minutes and 14 seconds. Chebin Gedich was still moving very quickly at this point, but this scintillating pace over the first 35 kilometers came in a cost, as her final 5k saw her fall just outside of the world record, as she finished in 2 hours, 14 minutes, and 18 seconds, just 14 seconds shy of Bridget Koske's world record. This marathon finish is still the second fastest time ever achieved by a female athlete, Beyond Shepin Gedich's time, we also saw Emily Sisson from the United States smash the American record with a time of 2 hours, 18 minutes, and 29 seconds, becoming the first American athlete to ever run under 219. Now, unbelievably, this is only the second marathon that Emily Sisson has ever completed, and it's now a new personal record by almost 5 entire minutes, as her previous PB was only 223.08. This Chicago performance was truly a masterclass of marathon running from Emily Sisson. At the halfway point, she ran a time of 1 hour 9 minutes and 26 seconds, and for her final half marathon, she actually negative split this race with a time of 1 hour 9 minutes and 2 seconds, a very impressive race that was pretty much paced to perfection. This 2022 Chicago Marathon was incredible, and with the record books once again shifting into new territories, it makes me even more excited about the prospects of the New York City Marathon, which is set to take place in just one month's time on November 6th. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.